Hi there. In this video, together with my daughter, we are going to be taking a look at this uh, handheld circular saw from Einhell. The model is TECS 18-165-1 Lithium Solo. That's a mouthful. Uh, and yes, it's a the other daughter. It's recommended to use uh, an accumulator with minimum 2.5 amp uh, hours of uh, capacity. And I got this as a kit with a charger and a 4 amp hours accumulator for about total 64 euros or 80 dollars. So I got an incredible deal. I don't know if somebody made a mistake or what happened, but they're in my possession and everything seems to be working. At least the accumulator and charger, which will have a separate video. This will be only for this, uh, this circular saw itself. So let's get it out of the box. And obviously I will register it online on Einhell website to get three years of warranty, which is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Let's see what they are telling us here. So in theory toolless, for all adjustments you don't need any tools. It's uh, for right hand use. Easy handling, yeah, it, it has some rubber on the grips, I don't really care. It has an LED to light up the work area. And it has a saw blade with 165 millimeters in diameter and it can cut to a maximum depth of 54 millimeters and my daughter seems to be wanting these labels yeah why not let's see here some more info at 90 uh, degrees it can cut hey 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 less noise please trying to tell uh, the viewers what we have here <laughs> It can cut to 64 millimeters maximum at 90 degrees and at 45 degrees it can... Okay. okay, sorry about that, data was getting too noisy so she had to be bribed with some chocolate too. Uh, try and film in better conditions. Sorry again. So 54 millimeters when the blade is at 90 degrees So strength on what you are cut cutting and when you Rotate it at 45 degrees maximum is 35 millimeters This I honestly have no clue what it means. Maybe somebody can tell us in the comments uh, specifications of the blade the hole in the middle needs to be 20 millimeters and uh, thickness is 1.6 millimeters, diameter already told you, 165 millimeters, and the rotation speed 4200 RPM. Let's get into this thing. And this tool hopefully is as good as the other uh, Einhell tools that I have, because uh, in this day, when you start buying from one company and you get into one product lineup that has uh, uh, batteries, you kind of go with it. You, you don't go into too many ecosystems at the same time. So I went into the Einhell power exchange because I, I, I had Einhell tools over the years. And honestly, they never failed me. I used them correctly. If they are just hobby level, I just use them for hobby level level and uh, yeah, had no issues, so I, I, I like them. Okay, this is to cut a straight line. Basically, you follow the edge of something and you cut it what uh, width you need. Let's see how big this thing is. Ha! Huh. Cool. And don't get me wrong, let me try and uh, give you a wider angle. Widest angle? This is it. Uh, this thing is heavy. So again, don't, don't expect this to be light because it's not. Uh, let's 
see if we have anything else in here. Nope, we don't. So this can be taken out of the way. Clear some room in here. Bunch of manuals. And this thing, which is what we actually care about. Here they are telling you about the three year warranty. So two standard plus one year because you are registering it online. Let's get this out of here. You use the code from the tool itself, which is a square label right here with the serial number of the tool. Okay, we have the protection for the blade. Spring loaded. The blade itself. About the blade, honestly, I cannot tell you anything. I will tell you once I start to work with it, if it cuts well or not, but I'm not, this is the first tool of this kind that I ever got. So I have nothing to compare it to. I will just tell you if I like it or if I don't like it. And that will be it. We have the lead right here, which will give us uh, some light in here, which is telling us uh, where the cutting line is. So we need to follow this line. And obviously this thing goes right here and presumably we tighten it with this. And in here we decide how wide uh, we need to cut actually. Which is pretty cool. You can use uh, there is a specialized rail that you can put this thing on and in that way you you can make perfectly straight cuts but that rail is quite expensive and I don't need to cut anything too long. I will cut uh, mostly uh, wood boards maybe this wide so something like this eh, for that I don't need any rail. This I have no clue what it is. I will read the manual because I, it's a tool that I never had, so there's that. In here we have some adjustment. Again, let me read the manual and get back to you because at this point I have no clue exactly what I'm doing in here. Let's put this aside and see what we get. Operating instructions, this is what we want. Uh, yeah, this is Romanian, but we will read the English ones. Let's see this. I think this is the universal uh, one that they put with all their tools in the package. Safety instructions and it's for all uh, kind of tools. I I browsed to it through it once and that's about it. Uh, if you want the online guides, you can find them and some uh, information about specific countries, how you can contact them. Let me give this thing a quick read and be back to you. Browsed through the manual, actually honestly kind of read the manual and I don't often read the manual but for tools that I never used, better safe than sorry. So let's get to it. Obviously, this has a protection for the saw blade, which is automatic. I do not have a battery in, so this is totally safe. When you push it through the wood, the blade itself will retract. As you start cutting, it will go fully back. You also have a lever if you want to move it yourself. It will not lock in place anywhere. It's a protection feature, no point on uh, it to lock. Uh, what else? The cutting depth you adjust it from here. So pull this back. It's kind of strong and by doing this you adjust the cutting depth minimum which is as you can see basically nothing and when you put this in you cut as deep as you want. And yeah nothing wiggles everything is quite secure so I like that. We are at the max now, 
if I could actually close this thing it would be awesome. <coughs> Spring loaded, it's closed. And yes, you have here uh, something, uh, a scale that tells you the cutting depth itself. Let me try and see if we can clearly see it. Hopefully you can. And you can see this mark right here, this line. It's telling us, uh, for example, if you want to cut at 20 millimeters, we need to take this line and put it right here. And we are now at 20 millimeters depth. Mm. My bad. This is not a good uh, environment to show off this tool, but uh, for the moment it's all that I have. What else? This is the only tool on the device, so it's not quite as toolless. The adjustments are toolless. I'm toolless. Sorry about that. But to change the blade itself. Yes, we do need this particular tool in this screw right here. And to lock the blade while changing, you press this button, but not maximum because it will not go in. But do all of this without the battery in, obviously. And then you simply rotate this until it locks while pressing on the button. You will feel it uh, drop in there somewhere. Not yet. And now it has dropped in there and this thing isn't moving. It's going back and forth just a little bit, but here it's it's locking. And this is pressed as you can see. If I release it, this starts to move once again freely. Undo this, remove this, change the blade, put everything back. Not going to do that because I don't have honestly any reason for the moment. And then you put back the tool. And this tool only stays like this. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not 100% happy with this. It's only friction fitted in this small area right here. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably fine. I don't think it will fall by itself, but it will wiggle around from time to time from the vibrations, most likely. Anyway, that's that. Again, the LED itself, uh, it will start when you push on the button and to power this thing on you need to push this protection which is in on both sides so you push it in any direction it's okay for you and only then it will release the switch itself if it's not pressed it's not working and all einhold tools uh, seem to have this uh, safety feature at least the jigsaws and uh, stuff like this to adjust the angle, you have this particular thing right here, which is actually just a plastic on a nut. So you undo the nut, like that, and now you have this right here, which has a small line on it, and it's telling you at what angle you are cutting. For example, here we are cutting at 30 degrees, and tighten this thing, and you can take this out and put it in another position and lock it in place. And now we are cutting at 30 degrees and uh, that will change the way you look at the, your cutting line. For 0 degrees we are at this, for 45 we are at this. So for 30 degrees probably somewhere in between. So you need to do a test cut for every single time you change uh, your settings to make sure you are cutting where you want to actually cut. So let's unlock this and put it back in at a zero and lock it in place. Uh, yeah, this one I already showed you. It's for the uh, parallel cut guide. Let me see if I can tighten this even without a guide because I'm not going to use it now. Actually, I'm not going to cut now, but when I cut in the future probably, first I will not use this. Through here, obviously, you can attach a vacuum cleaner and you will draw uh, the sawdust from what you are cutting. And I think honestly that that is about it. This is not uh, sheet metal, this is magnesium or uh, some kind of other metal, maybe magnesium with aluminium. 
this again is not sheet metal. I'm putting my hand and it, it has a constant thickness on the other side, so it's not sheet metal. I would feel this on the other side if it would be. So again, some aluminum or magnesium, which is quite, uh, quite nice. We have a screw hole in here. So maybe that is for that uh, rail that I told you that we can actually buy for this. Maybe someday in the future I will buy one if I actually need to cut anything that long. But for the moment, I don't really need to. So, yeah, there's that. This is how you hold on to this thing when you cut. And what can I say apart from let's put this to the test because uh, honestly I'm in my apartment now I'm not going to power this thing on uh, this creates lots of noise and I see no point so we are pouring, powering uh, it on when we are actually cutting something which is probably next for you okay so I've been using this for a few hours cutting this sort of stuff it cuts through it like cheese so it works perfectly I have some other cuts that I need to make longer boards but it works exactly as expected been using this thing a bit more even cut to this which is the lead from uh, a sewage uh, tube I don't even know how it's called in English and it's a really strong uh, plastic and it cut through it without any issues so all good and obviously it can perfectly be used with this shop vacuum I will put a link to it in the description to the video that I made for it and absolutely zero debris remain on the floor when cutting this for example so yep let's do some work just wanted to add uh, the 6 amp power battery that Einher has sent me is doing perfectly on this and this has more power so when you would feel it would get stuck with the 4 amp this 6 amp just pulls through and doesn't uh, stall or anything like that so yeah if you can go with a 6 amp power battery do it after cutting a bit more this actually cuts faster with the bigger battery. At this point I've been using this tool for more than half a year in various uh, situations. It's awesome, it's doing exactly what it needs to do. I don't really use that much the, the guide that you put in here and tighten up. I just go by hand honestly or I have something right beside it and I just follow along. Anyway, there's that, uh, as you can see, just bought a new blade. It's not an Einhell blade uh, and it's thicker than the Einhell, so it's uh, 2.5 uh, millimeters thick instead of the 1.6 of the original Einhell. It's also smaller, it's 160 instead of 165. So uh, I'm on a radius, I'm, use, I'm losing 2.5 millimeters on the maximum depth. Doesn't really matter that much. Uh, the center is 20 millimeters, so that's the important thing. Without that, I wouldn't be able to use it. It seems it has uh, 24 teeth. The uh, tooth. Did I just say something else? <clears throat> anyway, uh, instead of 18 like the other one, so that's a bit better. It will make a bit of a cleaner cut, but might go a bit slower. Who knows? We'll see. Still don't know exactly what these two HW and TCT mean. There's that, doesn't really matter. Top speed or rotational speed uh, in RPM, it's uh, I think about the same. So uh, there will be no problems. And yes, I didn't cut with this uh, up until now, just changed it because I cut with the other one into something that was basically 
full of uh, dirt, sand on it. So it kind of uh, destroyed uh, these pills, uh, the carbide or whatever they are. So it wasn't cutting properly anymore. My father will try and sharpen it at least a little bit so we use it for stupid things to say like that. But this will be the good one. It's quite cheap, this that I got. If I see that cheap ones don't go well, I will buy more expensive ones. But for the moment, I think this will be enough, I hope. Because it's it's a quite a weird size to say like that to, to find blades. It's a bit weird. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe blades are just hard to find uh, in all sizes. Who knows? I'm not into this uh, for too long to, to know more. Anyway, the tool itself. Awesome. I'm going to continue to use it mostly with the big 6 amp uh, hour battery. With the 4 amp it also works well. With the 2.5 amp, nah, heavily underpowered. Don't recommend something like that. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope it helps you. In which case, please give it a like. Check out my other videos. And as always, see you in the next one. Bye.